Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, I have a couple of um, yeah, chinons. I was going to say one was a Somio Champini. Uh, we're in uh, the Loire Valley and we're in Cabernet Franc territory. Uh, Chinon and other appellations such as Somio Champini uh, and Bourgoy, Saint Nicolas de Bourgoy have to be 100% Cabernet Franc. Uh, I think uh, I think some Anjou Reds can put some uh, um, some Cabernet Sauvignon in there, but uh, anyway, um, it, the first one we've got they're, they're both things that uh, you'll find in UK supermarkets. This first one, 2014 Domaine de Rosette uh, Chinon, um, give it a whirl. 2014. There's a crisp, juicy, earthy raspberry and cherry character, which is a tasting note that you could probably do for a lot of Loire Cabernet Franc. Here it smells like it's going to be young, crunchy, fresh, appealing, almost one of a wine that you can um, you could even serve slightly chilled. It says serve at room temperature. Don't serve it at room temperature. Our standard room temperature in the UK is like 22 centigrade. No reds should be served at that temperature. That was my, me on my soapbox. Anyway, get me jocks around it. Yeah, there's a juicy, refreshing character about the fruit there. Um, there's this grip, there's acidity that freshens your mouth. Um, not too much tannin, which is why you can serve it slightly chilled. But then uh, this character of Cabernet Franc, uh, slightly earthy, leafy, uh, but um, not so wimpy that um, it, it's not ripe. Some, uh, they, once upon a time, people used to say, oh yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it is really fresh, leafy black currant. And if you find leafy black currant in Cabernet Sauvignon, people say it's underripe. What, what's happening now is people are ripening their Cabernet Franc a little bit more, getting so, so it's like the flavours are still there, but they've just been turned up a notch or two, not been turned up like to 11 or anything like that. So you're getting those um, red fruit flavours, uh, but the, an ever so slight baked character, baked tar, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's um, it's pretty tasty wine. Some people might find it a little bit on the uh, uh, on the crisp side, and they want something fuller bodied, but uh, I very happily dig into rather. A lot of that. Second wine, uh, Domaine du Colombier, uh, which Sainsbury's has been doing for a long time. This is the 2012 Chinon. Um, again, 100% Cab Franc. Let's give it a whirl. Now it's two years older. Um, first thing I notice when I pour it out is it's a it's a paler colour. The first one was like quite a vibrant purple. Here it's um, it, it, it's um, yeah it, it, more transparent. It looks like they've not done as much extraction of flavour. Uh, and when I come to smell it, I'm just having a look whether they've put any oak in here. No, no, not been near a barrel according to the back label, but that doesn't mean it hasn't. Um, but um, I, I, I don't notice as much fresh fruit aroma. Uh, there's maybe a slight little bit more hint of maturity coming through, uh, a slight softness, a slight plummy character, but it feels like a quieter wine than the first one. And that's more in the uh, slightly... Well, I was talking about the, the style of, um, uh, of, of Loire Reds uh, when they were a little bit more shy and leafy. Here, I, I think we, we have got something of that, of that character um, it's not that it's not nice. Uh, I like that little hint of tar that I was getting in the first one, and I like that gentle plum uh, black currant, slight blackberry fruit coming through. But um, it's it's not there. There isn't as much wine in your glass as there is in the first one. It's a it's an okay drink, uh, but and also uh, I, I wouldn't chill that one. I I chill the first one uh, and enjoy its crunchiness here. Um, that extra maturity, I, I think, just let that. Uh, softly, delicately swirl round uh, in your glass rather than uh, giving it a bit of a chill first. But um, I prefer the first one. This one is okay. Uh, first one's good. See you soon.